All right, uh, welcome back to DVO on today's episode. Quick little bite, show you how to do a valve adjustment on a 80s BMW motor or anything there before. Um, so this is applicable to any BMW motor made before 1992. Uh, they all have more or less the same method of valve adjustment, so I'm gonna show you how to do this real quick. It's very easy, you need simple tools, you can do this for less than 10 bucks. Uh, so here's the three things you need, right? 10 millimeter wrench, box end, a pick or a small Allen wrench or something that you can get into this little hole right here. Um, and then a set of feeler gauges. Definitely try to find the ones that have this 45 degree hook in them. These are clutch. Getting to work here. This is the, the stroker I just built uh, for YouTube. So if you guys are joining us just for this, check out the stroker video as well. So if you want to know how to do that, you'll know. Um, but this is very straightforward. So right now I have the engine set at top dead center, which basically means that the number one piston, so this cylinder right here with these two valves, is at the very top of its stroke and both valves are closed. Um, and that's what you want. And the way that you can tell this without having to set up timing and do all this stuff um, is you want to look at the, the cam lobes here and you can see that neither of these uh, rocker arms is t actually touching the cam. There's a little bit of play in it and the lobe is facing downward. And now what I mean by lobe is this angled part right here. Let me see if I can find a good one that is visible. Ah, perfect, right here. So if you see this big pointy part on the cam here, this is what we call a cam lobe. All right, so you wanna make sure that the lobe is basically 180 degrees away from the follower. And now the follower what I mean by that is this side of the rocker arm, the side that actually follows the cam. So as that little knuckle comes over, your rocker arm rides up, opens the valve, and then rides down and closes. The method for this is first what you wanna do is measure your valve, right? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So the, the spec for these on a cold motor is 0 0.010 or 0.254 millimeters. So you wanna measure your valve, and what you're looking for is you want your feeler gauge to have friction, but not too much friction. You want to be able to kind of slide it out with medium pressure, if that makes any sense. So what you're looking for is if you were to grab this with both fingers and kind of pinch it a little hard, just so there's resistance to pull it out, that's the kind of feel you want. So if you want to test that on, your, on yourself, just to feel what it feels like, just kind of pinch it and pull. And that's what you're looking for, that kind of resistance. So. Now that we know that this valve is far too loose, you can see it is very loose. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crack the lock nut open, okay? So I got that open. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my little pick or my Allen wrench or whatever, and what you wanna do is you wanna get it in this hole right here, you'll see this. This is what's called a rocker eccentric. And what you wanna do is you wanna tighten it so you're going to push down towards the motor, right, so that it closes the gap and then you want to lock this nut shut right there. So now we're going to test it again. So I fe should feel a slight drag. Perfect. So you just want that slight drag. You want it to feel not too easy, not too hard. You know, Goldilocks. Just right. Anyway, uh, so we've done that and so what we're going to do is we're going to do that exact process and we're going to repeat for all 12 valves here. Okay. So the way that you wanna do this is, I'm gonna do cylinder number one, and what you can do is just follow the firing order. Um, that is the most surefire way to do it. The firing order uh, is printed usually on the valve cover, but I think it's the same for pretty much all of these old motors. And very Googleable. And very Googleable. I don't know it off the top of my head, I just look at the cam and go as follows. If you guys are confident in your ability to judge when the valve is open and closed, what you can do, which is what I do, is I go through and I just find the rocker arms that are off uh, off cam. So for example, let's find a good one. This is a good one right here. So you can see again how that cam lobe is facing straight down. The rocker arm is on the opposite side of it. Um, this valve right here, this exhaust valve on number five is ready to be adjusted. So what I'll do is I'll go through and every time I adjust one, I'll mark it with a little paint marker so I know that that one's been done. I'll rotate the motor a little bit do the next ones that are open and just work my way through until all of the valves are done. Um, so I'm gonna mark this one and keep going through and then at the end of the, by the time I'm done, all of the valves will be adjusted to perfect factory spec. Um, 
Now, one thing I do want to touch on is that if you guys find, because this does happen quite a bit on these old motors, um, if you find that you can actually push this rocker eccentric in a full circle and it does not get tight, uh, unfortunately for you, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to remove your rocker shaft and your rocker arm and you're going to need to replace your, uh, your eccentric. The eccentrics do get worn if it's been a long time since there's a valve adjustment, you're going to have to replace it. And you want to make sure that the end of the valve does not have any damaged or mushroomed metal on it. Otherwise, you're just going to have to replace the valve and at that point, quite honestly, it's easier just to replace the whole head with one that you know is good. So, I'm sorry if that's happened to you, but that is how you fix that. If you guys have uh, more questions about how to get these rocker arms out, I have a disassembly video on how to completely disassemble this head. That'll tell it, show you everything you need to know to get everything out of this head and fix any problems you may have. So, look for that in our channel playlist under the DIY section. Um, anyway, so thank you for watching. Hope this helped. If you guys like what we're doing, please consider linking our Patreon and giving us a couple bucks for beer money. We sure enjoy it. And tell your friends. Thank you very much. There's your free tidbit of information for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.